My name is uh, Adik Vitzo, and I guide for Colton Bay Outfitters, Schultz Outfitters, and I do some fly tying for uh, Steelhead Alley Outfitters down in Ohio. What we're going to do today is we're going to tie one of my patterns called Vitzo's Psycho Spawn. Uh, this pattern is in the current Orvis catalog. Uh, it's available online or through their mail order catalog. Um, really, it's a, uh, it's a sucker spawn variation for steelhead. Uh, it's a pattern I typically fish in the spring. Um, you can tie it in all kinds of different colors, but really all you need is three materials, some thread, and the hook. Uh, to start off, the hook we're using is a Daiichi 1120. It's a curved scud hook. You can use any curved scud hook. I prefer the Daiichi 1120, but the uh, Tiemco 2457 works just as well, too. Uh, so to get started, we're going to attach our thread. I'm using a Uni 6 aught thread, and this color happens to be fluorescent orange. Uh, for most of my orangish colored eggs, I'm using this particular thread. It doesn't have to match exactly. So what we're doing is we're going to wrap the hook shank with that thread and I'm going to bring the thread just past the, uh, the barb of the hook. Cut off the excess and at this point our first material is Angora Rabbit Yarn. Um, I'm going to cut this into about a four or five inch section just like that. I'm going to fold it in half I'm going to take those two tag pieces and I'm going to attach it to the top of the hook shank right at the rear there. Secure that down. So what you're left with is a loop just like that. Next step is to take either sparkle braid or a uh, diamond braid. They're essentially the same thing, different manufacturers, uh, they each have their own color variations, so depending on what color you're tying, I guess you can pick your color braid from that. I'm going to cut about a 3-4 inch piece of this sparkle braid, and I'm going to attach that right on top. We want this uh, braid to be right in the middle of that loop. So when we open it up, it's going to be sitting right in the middle, like that. Next, I'm going to take this diamond braid, or the sparkle braid, pull it through, let that hang on the bottom. Last step is the ice dub. Uh, for this particular color, I'm using salmon egg for the angora, using a peach pearl color for the braid, and I'm using fluorescent shell pink for the ice dub. Like I said, you can do any color combination you want. Um, this is just one of my favorite color combos right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to dub just by spinning the uh, dubbing onto the Angora yarn on one side. You don't have to worry about really getting up top there. We're just going to cut that off anyways. And I'm going to do the same the other side. And I'm just grabbing a small clump like this. And we'll lay it on there. Give it a loose spin. You don't have to really dub it on really tight. Um, the fibers in the Angora yarn will grab onto the ice dub pretty well. So to start this off, it's a cluster egg pattern, so just like you tie your normal sucker spawn, we're going to clump a loop towards the back. I'm going to switch hands. I'm going to do one loose wrap, maybe a second just to secure everything. Make sure everything's lined up. Looks good. I'm going to tighten that down, give one or two more tight wraps. So there's our first clump, making sure that the diamond braid runs down the middle. Next, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to start stacking these clumps. I'm going to do a couple loose wraps. Make sure everything looks good. Do one more tighter wrap. And now I've got two clumps. 
Before I go on to the third clump, I'm going to take these first two and kind of slide them into each other so we stack them into a nice cluster. You don't have to do it real tight, but just pushing them together tends to help the look of the cluster. So one loose wrap, second loose wrap, position everything, do one or two more tight wraps, and we'll slide it back again. On this particular hook, I'm using a size 10 Daiichi 1120. And with the size 10s, you can get anywhere from four to five good sized clusters. And again, just did one loose wrap, position it, one more tight wrap. And it looks like I got room for one last cluster. So I'm going to pinch it with my other hand there. Make sure everything looks all right. I'm going to finish it off with a couple tight wraps. Cut off the excess. Now, I'm just going to secure everything on the front. Get some good thread wraps in there. And at this point, you're done. Finish it however you want. You can do the whip finish, you can do the half hitch, whatever your preferred method is. Doesn't really matter. And a little bit of water based head cement to seal that thread up. And cut off that tag piece. And that is the Psycho Spawn. It's a nice hairy looking fly. It's going to absorb a lot of water. Um, really works well for me in the spring. You get some off color days. It's a nice big cluster. Um, has been one of my go-to patterns for steelhead um, past couple of years. So that's it.